Chances are that you often go to Google to find the answers to your questions. And hey, guess what? So do I! Google can be a great tool. But that does not mean your search will always contain the best information. Google has an advanced search option that's both easy to use and can really improve the quality of what you find. First, I'm going to type in what I'm interested in. I want to know how exercise influences grades. From here, I'm going to click on Settings and select Advanced Search. Okay, let's take a look at these limiters. All these words means that you want Google to search for all of these words. <laughs> kind of obvious. Google will combine these terms automatically, so you don't need to include the ands and whatnot. The exact phrase is very handy when searching, as Google can be too helpful sometimes by finding all of the words you're searching for, but sometimes in no way related to what you actually need. This forces Google to search for the exact term you type in. My search is looking at exercise in students, so I'll type in student athletes. Now Google has to search this phrase together. This also works with just one word too. Google is good at finding synonyms, but this feature can help point Google in the right direction. Say I want Google to search for GPA or grades. None of these words is a not search, meaning you're excluding something. Use this limiter with great caution, as it tends to get rid of stuff you may actually want. You do have the option to include a number range. This can search for any unit of measurement and can come in handy. I don't make use of the language and region limiters much, as most of what we find here in the US is going to be English, and the region search feels a little too limiting to me, but feel free to play with either of these if you think they're going to help you out with your search. I do use the last update generally when I want information that's really recent. You have the option to search for any time in the past day, week, month, or year. This can be really helpful in an academic or non-academic search. What I find to be very wonderful is the site or domain limiter. This means you can search in a specific website, like cdc.gov. It's um, huge, and this could really help you navigate it. Or certain domain types like .org or .edu. Another lovely feature is this terms appearing search. You have a lot of options, but I tend to use in the title of the page since if all of your search terms are in the title, chances are those sources are going to be exactly what you are looking for. I'm not too worried about explicit information with this topic, but if I was searching something a little more iffy, I could limit to only inexplicit materials. If I want different types of information, I can limit by file type. Oftentimes, I will choose to limit by PowerPoint or PDF. Okay, let's run our search. You can see how Google translated my search, and you can edit it directly right here if you wanted to. It looks like my results are exactly what I was looking for. If you find your results are not what you would consider to be credible sources to use within a college-level research paper, try using Google Scholar instead. It's a Google database that only indexes academic information. Click the link below to learn how to navigate it. That being said, Google Advanced is an awesome tool to turn a mediocre search into a sophisticated one. Happy searching!